One last ride. That's the dying wish of a little Owensboro boy with an extremely rare and terminal disease that's devastated yet inspired his parents to learn more about a pediatric version of ALS. Tonight, they allowed us the honor to be there for that ride and learn more about their heartbreaking medical journey. 44 News evening anchor Brian Miller has a story. So we got him a horse and the carriage. You might not be able to tell at first glance. We're going to take a ride down to Smothers Park and um, Kendall Perkins for one last ride. But this carriage ride is magical because we were um blessed to get this extra little time with him i said what better way than to send him off doing everything that he loves well it might just be another trip around the park for this horse and its carriage for the family along for the ride it's a cherished memory in a world where the memories available to be made are numbered much like this little boy's days. We didn't see it coming this fast. We at least thought we had another year, maybe two at most. And for all of life's beautiful moments. It has, um, King Nasir was a happy kid, so he was always smiling and always happy spirited. Sometimes, especially when it comes to children, life just doesn't make sense. Oh, they were telling us it's time to it's time to let them go. And it certainly isn't fair. At least not for six-year-old King Nasir Gates. Because for all that this life gives us, sometimes it has to take away. It meant a lot to me to have family and to keep that positive spirit and that laughter and that joy around him in this time. That's the reality for this little king and his mom. At just three years old, the disease began to take over his little body. First, ripping away his ability to walk, eventually to eat. But until very recently, it never took away his ability to smile. King Nazir, whose name means one who overcomes in victory, may soon succumb to the debilitating and extremely rare genetic disorder that's been slowly destroying the muscles and tissues in his body. His mom started a not-for-profit that will help other families who might suffer through similar situations. We want answers. We want cures. We want treatments. We want results. I don't want other, another family to have to go through this and be so alone with such a rare disease as I went through. The family says a recent bout of rhinovirus is what did this little king in. He's in a coma-like state right now, surrounded by those who love and cherish the little man. You can think you're prepared, but you'll never be prepared for something like this, no matter how hard you try to. Because there is nothing left to do for King Nazir and his family but to enjoy the ride. It certainly seems like this little king did just that. In Owensboro, Brian Miller, 44 News. King's mother, Lakia, says today she saw her son open his eyes for his final ride, leaving her a blessing that will forever live on.